Welcome to Curie Electronics. So today we are going to learn about thermistor. So already we have seen what is RTD in the previous class. So today we will see what is a thermistor. So thermistor is a heat sensitive device whose resistance changes rapidly with temperature. It's rapidly with temperature. The resistance of the thermistor changes rapidly with temperature. If you see the thermocouplant RTD, it is not a rapid or fast response. So thermistor is a fast responding temperature sensor. Now uh, this, uh, this thermistor has got uh, different symbols. See, this is this is a symbol for thermistor or uh, we can re represent the thermistor like this also like a variable resistor and here we can mention whether it is a, a PTC that is positive temperature coefficient thermistor or NDC negative temperature coefficient if it is mentioned plus T degree it is a positive temperature coefficient thermistor similarly if you want to represent a negative temperature coefficient NDC that is NDC thermistor we will write N minus T degree also you can simply use a variable resistor symbol also this also represent a if it is included with positive T degree Celsius then it's a PTC similarly for NTC a variable resistor negative T degrees degree so these are the different way you can different symbols used to represent the thermistor uh, what are the different types of oh, see a, a thermistor can be made in different ways so different configuration of the thermistor it's the same same device which is in different forms so this is a disk type thermistor disk type thermistor thermistor disk type thermistor and this one these things i have seen in uh, my refrigerator that is fridge uh, these are B type bead B type thermistor B type B type thermistor and this is the uh, row, ty row type thermistor row type thermistor mainly these con three configurations are there row type thermistor Now, now before further proceeding, why do you have to learn this? What is the application of these thermistors? What are the uses, uses of this thermistor? And what is the temperature range for this device? A temperature, temperature range. It's usually from minus 100 degrees Celsius to 400 degree Celsius and now let's see the uses what are the uses or applications of few uses at least we should know before learning anything learning this electronic components and all we should know have an idea where we are going to use it and the first first use these are used as temperature sensor temperature sensor And what is the another one more in in rush in rush current limiters because what happens the if it is a NTC the resistance decreases with increasing temperatures so we can use it as a in rush current limiters current limiters in power supplies in rush current limiters uh, then what else is there See nowadays one of the application is the battery packs are there. 
different battery operated device battery packs you have to monitor the temperature of the battery for that also battery pack temperature monitoring temperature monitoring then what is the other you see one of very good example of ptc that is positive temperature ptc what is the one of the best application uh, nowadays i don't know but maybe uh, 10 years back we had crt crt tvs uh, there for degaussing degaussing coil to degaussing purpose we used this degaussing d the gaussing of crt the gaussing means uh, the earth magnetic field effect creates a, a picture of some some difference in the crt to remove that this the gaussing is you done in a crt uh, then what's okay some current protection current protection device also this can be used for current protection also so these are the few applications of uh, this thermistor okay now uh, let's understand what is ptc thermistor and what is ndc thermistor now ptc positive temperature coefficient i hope all of you know what let me know positive temperature coefficient and ndc means negative temperature coefficient positive temperature coefficient and negative temperature coefficient now if it is a positive ptc thermistor how is the resistance and temperature related that's what this graph gives so this is a ptc on the x axis temperature on the y axis resistance so it goes like this when what is happening here when temperature increases the resistance also increasing that is what ptc ptc means temperature increasing what's happening resistance also increasing that is what ptc and what about ndc ndc thermistor what what how what happens to ndc thermistor this also for ndc on the x axis we have temperature and the y axis we have resistance ndc means with increasing in temperature our resistance should decrease so this is a exponential kind of decrease so here what is happening when temperature increases what's happening our resistance decreasing r is decreasing r is decreasing so that is what meant by ndc now uh, what we have to make out from here this is a non linear thermistor is non linear thermistor is is a non linear device non linear non linear device it is fast but it is non linear it is fast but it is non linear it gives it has a rapid response but it's a non linear device now so, so how how we can test a thermistor or how how do we study the characteristic of a thermistor let let's see uh, we have a thermistor what i do i will connect a voltage source here let me take it as a 0.2 volt so this is the thermistor so let us assume that it is uh, it is a ndc okay the thermistor thermistor now current should flow this i now what what we do we will vary the we will apply different temperatures on this thermistor and we'll make a table from that table we can identify how this resistance how we can understand how it varies so let's uh, let's write uh, temperature first temperature temperature in degree celsius 
and what current should vary once we know then v by v upon i equal to r we will get now let us assume that at 25 degree celsius we are provided we are at room temperature that is 25 degree celsius this thermistor was giving a current of 2 milliamps then if you apply ohms law what is the resistance do you get you get 100 ohm again we have applied increased to 5 more degree celsius that is now it is 30 degree celsius and the current has gone to 2.4 milliamps now what is the resistance if you apply the ohms law it is 83.3 ohms again if you apply another 5 degree celsius it is going to be 28 milliamps so it is going to be nearly 70 71.4 ohm so now we can see this is what thermistor it is with the rising in it by rising temperature our de resistance decreasing so it is ndc right i right so that's all you have to know about the thermistor then once more how do you, how we are going to use it in a circuit circuit apple circuit how do you use it in a circuit see we can put it as a part of voltage divider this is our normal resistors and this is our thermistor this is our thermistor this is our thermistor and it is connected to let us assume that 9 volt now we are having a what we are having we are having a voltage divider output so if you apply the voltage divider rule we know that this v output is keep on varying and this we can give it a operational amplifier and process it or you can connect a bridge also uh, this is the basic about the basic idea about the thermistor i hope you understood what is a thermistor and what how does the characteristic curve if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button